Asanteni sana tuketi cheni. <coughs> Thank you very much uh, Rigathi Gashagwa, Deputy President, the Chairman of Capital Markets Authority, the Chairman of uh, uh, Nairobi Stock Exchange, Captains and Leaders of Industry, um, Wananchi Watukufu Hamjambo. Our government is committed to delivering significant, rapid, inclusive, and sustainable socio-economic transformation by undertaking impactful interventions in five key pillars of our development agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a nation to feed. We have millions of Kenyan youth to employ. And we have to make affordable housing a reality in Kenya. We need a healthy nation of 50 million strong, happy citizens in good health. It is time for Kenyans to enjoy universal health coverage that invest in promotive and preventive interventions besides curative treatment. Our envisaged national transformation will be delivered on the back of a robust and empowered micro, small and medium enterprise sized enterprises sector and it is also time to invest in a digital superhighway to facilitate young Kenyans to plug more firmly and deeply into the global digital economy, thereby enabling them to create jobs, generate incomes on an unprecedented scale. In implementing implementation efforts towards these priorities are the game changers of our socio-economic system that will unleash tremendous potential positive change while creating millions of jobs and dramatically increasing earnings and wealth. This grand assignment we have committed to requires the investment of immense amounts of resources at a time when we have tremendous challenges connected with the state of our public finances. A lot of our revenue is committed to servicing our financial obligations and financing development is becoming even more challenging in our country. Yet we cannot defer the possibilities that will be unlocked through investment in critical enablers of rapid transformation or postpone the promise of sustainable development to await debt repayment. As part of the strategic configuration of our way forward, my administration intends to not only focus on strengthening and deepening our capital markets to become an alternative source of development capital, but also an alternative form of investment to most Kenyans. This is why we have established for the first time a State Department for Investment Promotion under, an, under a principal secretary in the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. <laughs> to affirm this resolve, my administration will revitalize the capital markets by embarking on privatization of state-owned enterprises where divestiture is overdue and strategic, as well as the introduction of such innovative products as a domestic dollar-denominated bond. I have said and made a commitment and I have asked the Ministry concerned that between five and ten public enterprises that are mature should be listed in the next 12 months. I expect that the private sector will work with the capital markets so that we can also have companies from the private sector listing in the Nairobi Stock Exchange. My government is 
prepare to work with companies that are um, that want to list in the stock exchange to overcome some of the challenges that you may have that are denying you the opportunity to list in the stock exchange. In order for us to do this, the government is embarking on review of the existing privatization law with a view to repealing it or replacing it with a, le a legal and less inhibiting and more facilitative policy framework to steward rapid privatization processes. Even as we seek to strengthen and deepen the capital markets, we are cognizant of the need to protect and promote the small investors. I have instructed the Capital Markets Authority and other re relevant departments to work on developing framework that places investor protection, including the enhancement of the Investor Compensation Fund, investor education, and strict enforcement of compliance by market intermediaries as the center of a re-energized capital markets. We must remember that the golden years of our capital market activities were inaugurated by Safaricom initial public offer in 2008, which generated intense public interest, attracting millions of small investors and bringing Mamamboga to the security exchange. The strong economic performance of those years and the affordability and availability of credit were dividends of this strong public confidence and robust participation in our capital markets. As you will recall, the IPO was consequently oversubscribed by 532%. It is time to bring back those times, and today, as I ring the bell, I shall be inviting all Kenyans, the Hustler Nation, into the Nairobi Securities Exchange and take the Nairobi Security Exchange to all Kenyans. I remember, and I want to ask the leadership of CDs, CDSC, is it? When, we, when, I, when I asked at that point in time how we can bring small investors, how we can bring ordinary Kenyans to buy into um, our bonds, we agreed on M. Copa, but I'm told that huh? M. Akiba, sorry, M. Akiba, but it did only there was only one bond list at that time and it ended there. Mr. Njuguna, you are, uh, a big, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are a big player. You understand how this should work. I am looking forward to the day when our bonds will be shared between the big players and the small players in equal measure. I want to ask, and uh, I, I must congratulate our banks. They have stood with us. Whenever we, we, we went to the market uh, with our bonds, they have supported us. They've always been there. But I also want to ask that we bring the other Kenyans into that space. We all agree it's a profitable space. It's not always you get interest of 10%, 12% guaranteed by government. It, you're doing well. I mean, the banks are doing well. Let's be honest. Uh, but the, the small people are not doing well. You know, they are getting 2%, 1% for the money they save in our banks. I think it's only fair that we begin the journey to even our returns. Let us even the returns. Because 
bottom up is about not leaving anyone behind let's move together it, it's the it's the it's the best way to grow the economy inequality breeds suspicion the more we create an unequal society the the dangerous it becomes we should proactively deliberately work to work together towards minimizing and reducing inequalities in our society by making sure that we democratize opportunities for um, for wealth creation let me repeat it again I am saying we must work deliberately to equalize opportunities and democratize opportunities for wealth acquisition by making sure that we democratize opportunities for each and every one of us to get a slice of the cake <laughs> additionally my administration has set out to or has set out its commitment to promote the public private partnership framework as yet another preferred mode of development financing which we intend to rely on in mobilizing necessary funding for investment in diverse sectors including roads housing water energy ict and agriculture this renewed commitment to the growth of capital markets inbuilt with well-developed modalities that provide clear and effective exit mechanisms for our public-private uh, partnership investors should be should serve as the highest assurance from my administration to investors that their investments are safe and that their investment decisions in Kenya are made in a predictable coherent and stable environment I want to persuade you that the growth of the capital market has to be a shared agenda of my government and the private sector there is need for both sectors to work together in good faith develop trust and make reciprocal contribution to its success it is my hope and desire that the private sector will reciprocate the government efforts to accelerate privatization and develop our capital markets by offering more privately owned enterprises for listing at the Nairobi Securities Exchange as part of their contribution. And on this note, I want to congratulate BIO for beginning the journey to list in the stock exchange and also congratulate Credit Bank. I am told that they too, um, Madam Corrid, they too have gotten the necessary approvals to list in the stock exchange. That is a positive signal for all of us, including those of us in the public sector. <clears throat> the envisioned growth of the capital markets will be sustainable through processes that make that take uh, that place due consideration to environmental protection and climate change mitigation I challenge capital markets players to devise with innovative solutions and incentives that reward best practices based on environment social and governance principles I have in mind for example such innovations as the issuance of green bonds and the establishment of a secondary market for our carbon credits finally we expect all these measures to culminate in the significant promotion of Kenya's position in the world map of money centers alongside Johannesburg Frankfurt London New York Shanghai Tokyo and Dubai five years ago Kenya took its initial significant step towards this ambition of enacting by enacting the legislation to set up the Nairobi International Financial Center as an authority as the basis for the formulation of the necessary incentive schemes to attract leading global financial players we are now taking another step by setting up the proposed Nairobi financial district 
we are taking another uh, uh, step in that journey. We envision the district to be the world's newest and most exciting financial center, as well as the home of choice to the world's leading financial institutions, and envisage it establishing itself firmly as the best place to work and live. This is no idle dream. Nairobi is already a leading destination for international civil servants who work for various multilateral institutions. I call upon the private sector to support and participate in the Nairobi Financial District, which will be set up as the gold standard for our public-private partnership program. We have a plan to transform Kenya. We have the commitment and the political goodwill to do what it takes to actualize it. We have a thriving private sector and a capital market that holds great promise. This moment is pregnant with wonderful possibilities and we must deliver them together. We stand on the cusp of an opportunity to renew the relationship between Kenyans of all walks of life with the Nairobi Securities Exchange and to reaffirm the place of the capital markets in igniting and sustaining unprecedented national development and socio-economic transformation. Today, therefore, I'm delighted to ring this bell and to usher in a new era of inclusive transformation possibilities spanning the public and the private sector, involving all from the bottom up. And let me assure my good brother, Kili, um, that I, I know the contribution of the pension ecosystem in the development of our country. I know what our pension system is doing in mobilizing savings. I am pleased to hear what you can do. You have said we should have given you an opportunity to build the expressway and to build the SGR using local resources. That is exciting. I want to tell you those two are already done, but there is more <laughs> we can do. We are discussing the construction of the dual carriageway to Mau Summit with investors. I will welcome you to put in a proposal and your, and your organizations. And, and it, would, it would really be exciting if we can deliver some of the huge infrastructure using our own resources, structured and mobilized in the correct manner using the correct instruments. Because of what you have said, you have an appointment in my good office with your various organizations on Thursday afternoon at 2.30. <laughs> because that conversation you want us to have, I have also been looking forward to it. So uh, we will pick up from uh, where we have left today, and I hope you mobilize your, your sector to come and have a conversation with us. We will continue to have uh, this engagement. Nobody has the monopoly of all knowledge, but together, we can build a genius economy if we work together. So I, I am very confident that uh, working together uh, with respect and, uh, uh, and uh, making sure that we are courteous to one another, we can be able to, and, and we, we do not have a choice. Failure, good people is not an option. This is our country, collectively, we must work at it and make sure that we all succeed. As my good deputy has said, we are prepared to listen. We want to, uh, make, we want to give way if we have a good idea 
and you have a better idea, we will agree to give way our good idea for your better idea. Because that's the only way we can take Kenya, we can take Kenya forward. Um, so I want to say thank you very much. I am really proud to be part of this um, event that hopefully, as I have said earlier, will unlock the potential that exists in Kenya and in Kenyans and make sure that nobody is left behind. Asante Nisara. Your Excellency, briefly to remain on stage very briefly, Your Excellency, sir, and request.